students uh, good morning uh, today we are going to see how to add a primary site server uh, join a primary site server to the central administration site okay so i already have my central administration uh, site crea created created cis i'm now going to join my primary site under the central administration site so to do that click start computers configuration manager splash click install it's going to take uh, seconds for the installation visa to come it has come click next so you want to install a configuration manager primary site click next going to use the evaluation version click next click accept the license agreements again accept the license agreements for SQL and Silverlight next uh, now the prerequisite files where you are kept click next This is going to take few minutes to validate all the prerequisite download files that are there. So two files have been verified, total 15 files are there which needs to be verified. So five fields have been verified. Six files have been verified. Eight fields have been verified. Nine, ten. There's still five more to go. Mm, 
the reason why this verification happens is that uh, your installation doesn't fail in the middle of the uh, install because of these uh, corrupted uh, files, prerequisite files. So it makes sure that uh, it scans over the MSI and other files and uh, make sure that uh, they are available uh, without any issues. Now all 15 files are completed, click next. Click next. Now it's asking for the site code. I'm going to give as PR1 as this is the first primary site. Uh, ACCM 2012 R2 primary site. I'm going to give the name next and here you can see join the primary site to existing hierarchy this is where you will give the central administration site's server name to join your primary site so I'm going to give the central administration site server name uh, it automatically resolves if you give the NetBIOS name so you don't have to worry uh, for the database settings, I'm going to leave it as default. Click next. SMS provider, leave as default. In the client uh, computer settings, I'm going to configure the communication method for each system rule. Click next. You can see that it's going to install the management point and distribution point. Uh, in the central administration side, management point and distribution point role is not installed the reason is because it's not going to manage any clients okay so management point and distribution point are going to be installed on the primary side click next i don't want to join the program click next click next So it's giving a couple of warnings. One is uh, configuration of SQL memory usage. Uh, it's asking to set the maximum limit. That's fine for now. And SQL process memory allocation. Both are just warnings. So we'll click begin install. And this will install the primary side. And automatically link it to the central administration side. So this is how you join a primary site to the central administration site in the hierarchy. Uh, this install will take some time, so I'm not going to run it uh, till then. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching.